welcome to part five of the free product animation masterclass. I think this video is one of the most important videos to watch on animation. Most people think the graph editor is a scary place and I used to be like that too. I would open it up and be lost one second into it. And that's why I'm going to explain the graph editor visually so you can truly understand what's going on. Starting now, this is a linear path. There are no fluctuations in speed. The object moves from point A to point B. Now, the cube on the floor shows what it would look like in an animation. I guess everybody understands linear, but what about a Bezier? Look at this. It starts slowly, then speeds up in the middle and slows down again. So let's say you're driving to work in a different city. Then first you have to drive slowly in your own street because there are children playing soccer, schools are nearby and speed limitations set up by the government. Then you enter the highway. So you speed up from slow to fast and now you can finally drive fast on this highway. When you enter the city where your work is located, you have to slow down again until you arrive and stop at your workplace. On the graph editor, it looks like an S shape, which stands for soul sucking nine to five. Now let's say we want an animation to happen very fast at first, but then slow down. What would that look like? It could be a person skiing. So if you start at the top of a mountain and take the leap of faith, you're practically free falling at first. Then as the angle of the mountain decreases, we slow down and come to a halt also due to friction. So if you would push a cube on the floor, it would go fast at first and then slow down because of friction. Another way to visualize this is the other way around. So let's say you're a runner that wants to run up a mountain. At first you're bursting with energy and run up the mountain quickly. But as time progresses, you get tired and slow down your pace until eventually you come to a halt. And this is exactly what's happening in the graph editor as well. And I hope I've shown that to you now and that through these metaphors, you can understand the graph editor for the rest of your career. I believe visualizing the graph editor in this way is very helpful for understanding how it actually works. So in the next part of this free masterclass, we are going to make this animation and really solidify our knowledge and actually animate using the graph editor. Click here to watch it now.